late model one owner locally traded j feather 19 x ud x is an expandable ud is a new dinette here at halet rv of Coldwater, michigan just came in on trade uh we're very familiar with this because we were the dealer that sold it to its one and only original owner uh so basically you're looking at something that is just impeccably well kept late model but had a used price tag and that ain't all bad comes in just a titch over 3600 pounds i think the hard number is 3617 or something like that but long story short this is really the largest thing you're going to want to get behind like a 4200 pound rated say like suv or something like that um you get much bigger than that and by the time it's loaded and you put your family in it that's uh it'll be too much for you that's one of the things that people forget about is uh thank you loud fedex truck uh you forget that uh you also have to load these things so you got to look at more than just the dry weight but look at like your uh your bed ends here this it they are blemish free they're super clean things in great shape uh it looks like it's been stored out of the weather because the skin is still gleaming the decals are not peeled and cracked and fading. It's been very well kept. Nice little, uh, this is all aluminum framed here, which is nice. It helps keep that weight down and the structural integrity uh, up over time. I can't, I can't speak today. Laminated slide walls as well, so the sides of the slide outs are laminated. Ooh, they added a max air cover up there. I just kind of noticed that. I didn't spot that before. Um, this is nice because it's a, it's a little camper, but it opens up into a fairly good size camper. It's a small tower and it's a big camper, if that makes any sense. When you're going down the road, um, you're, you only got like a 19 foot box. She's, I don't know, 22, 23 feet tip to tail, including tongue and bumper. But uh, when you get to your destination, that 19 foot box becomes like a 20, I don't know, six, eight foot box, plus the slide out for that extra nudge of room. And uh, this is a narrow body. This is only seven and a half feet wide. It's not a full eight foot wide trailer like a normal one. It's a little more narrow, and you can see how it's also shorter. This is not gonna be that big imposing brick behind you that scares you if you're, if you're new at towing, if you're new at this, especially with the smooth skin which helps slip streaming, this is going to be a nice uh, towing thing. If you need explanations further, any of that, don't hesitate to call. And I mean, it's a Jayco. They set, you know, really one of the gold standards for any sort of quality aspects you find in the business. Uh, we are prepped out here for an outside grill, though they did not uh, include one. Uh, but even like your, your baggage door hinges here, they're all a sealed piano hinge. So you can own this thing for a long time without, you know, like simple nut bolt failures. You're not going to encounter things like that here. Good looking aluminum wheels too. Stepping inside, we have a completely carpetless floor plan. So this is an extremely easy to clean floor plan. Broom it out, Swiffer it up, and you're done. Sofa can fold down into an extra sleeper. Big cross breeze windows, and here in the slide, oh, I got too much backlight from the window here. Hold on, let me click on my little headlamp. You can see we've got good overhead storage throughout the slide out as well. That should be shining through for you. We've also got nice night shades on all the blinds here, so it is easy to see. The uh, UD of the 19X UD is this front U dinette. And if you notice, the table's freestanding, and that's for a very specific purpose. It makes it easy to move the table to get up into the front bed. Um, that table can obviously fold down into an extra sleeping space. So you can sleep two, maybe three or four, because that's a huge dinette. Five, six, seven in the back. You could sleep six, seven in here very, very easily. Also, full size 13,000 BTU, well, 13,500 technically BTU air conditioner. Full size AC in a mini camper. So you're going to get awesome airflow and cooling in here. Jayco uses 50% thicker bed mats than, you know, industry standard. There's not many guys that match that quality right there. And uh, they did a good job of giving you what storage they could. So this is a very multi-purpose area. It could be hanging storage. It could be pantry space. It could be any combination thereof. So you've got good storage areas below the sink as well. This will be doubled over there. Even a giant drawer uh, below the refrigerator. And that is worth its weight in gold right there. That is a big drawer with another big cabinet space down here. Uh, this is a five cubic foot gas and electric fridge freezer, left hand model. So basically you can grab it like that. Actually, you could use this with either hand easy because your right hand has the finger bowls here. But I like to point out that this does have a freezer pocket in it. A lot of people don't realize that. Notice this is not all molded up. These people took care of this. They took very good care of it. Um, basically, it was a, a set of grandparents. And um, what it really boiled down to is they like camping, but just decided that the hybrid type of camper was not their thing. So they just swapped it out for a, an enclosed trailer here at Haylitz, and that's that's the only reason this is even here. They were camping, they were having a good time. They just wanted something that was fully enclosed, and I think they wanted something a little quieter for sleeping was one of the main motivations there. 
This is an easy thing to miss right here, this big chunk of storage space. There is a four to ceiling cabinet, closet, whatever you want to call it over here. Oh, look at that. All the original owner's manual still in the uh, original Halet bag that we provide our clients. That's awesome. This is your stereo up here, by the way. They have that right by the door, so if you want to hop in, change the stereo around, you can hop right back out and not miss out on a lot of camping. Bathroom, simple, but effective. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> It's got a skylight, got a fan, we got our uh, mirror here, you know, sink, everything. Uh, I know these are not exciting features, but not every little camper has them. So I do want to take a moment just to kind of point those out, and you are prepped for TV up here. And really, that's this one in a nutshell. This is not my biggest, longest, mostest, involvedest video. So if you like her, give us a call. You could be camping in Jayco. You could be camping in Jayco from Haley RV. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just entertaining myself. Take care, stay safe, have fun. Happy camping, everyone.